yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, he teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness is in his heart, he deviseth mischief continually. He winketh with his eyes, a naughty person, a so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, he teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness is in his heart, he deviseth mischief continually, he soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly, suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed any heat. But it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then, when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continue eyes, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul, all they that hate me love death. Chapter 9 Right, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He that is void of wisdom despiseth his neighbor, but a man of understanding holdeth his peace. A talebearer revealed in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. There is that scattereth and yet increaseth, and which cease from thine own wisdom. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings, they fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. The morsel which thou hast eaten shalt thou vomit up, and lose thy sweet words. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Remove not labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings, they fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee. 
deceitful meat. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye. Neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee. Hello, hello, folks. Listen. I was gonna put what I heard from Charles Stanley in this video, but I had trouble transferring my recording of that from my iPad to my iPhone. I'm recording this on my iPhone, but I recorded what he said on my iPad. Folks, listen to me. When I was watching him earlier, he was talking about what the what the Holy Spirit does. He was talking about if the Holy Spirit goes left and we go right or vice versa, we are in direct disobedience to the Lord. If he says, go this way, go this way, go this way, and we say, no, I'm going the other direction, the other direction, the other way, we are in the d direct disobedience of one of the three members of the Holy Trinity. And, and, and listen to me. When I was watching Charles Stanley in that same episode of his, he said, the more we watch TV the less likely we are going to want to spend time with the Lord first thing the next morning. He said, he said, when we are doing things that don't... Uh, hang on. He said, he said, when we are doing things that don't help us have a closer relationship with the Lord, that could take us farther and farther away from doing what the Lord wants, and hearing Him, and and obeying Him, or being obedient to the Lord. He said, he said, the less we do things that keep our mind off the Lord, the more we will do things that will keep our mind on the Lord. Now, folks, there are so many temptations nowadays. What Charles Stanley said in the video I watched today made me realize when we're having fun and, and doing things and talking to people, we should we should take time to pray to want to do what would keep us in direct fellowship with the Lord. Because if we go in the opposite direction of the Lord, the less we will hear him. And and if we want to be a good Christian, we should pray to love doing what it takes to hear the Lord. Titus 1, he cannot lie. Malachi 3, he does not change. Matthew 7 and John 14, asking you shall receive. So if a Christian, including but not limited to you and you and I, including but not limited to you and myself, has any common sense, we should ask the Lord for the desire to pray to follow what Charles Stanley said in the video I watched every day. I want to know if this video helps you and how much, so please let me know. Or I'll be wondering, but never thank me. There is no need to thank me. But just to clarify, we should pray to go in the direction that the Lord is heading. Just to clarify, we should pray to follow the Holy Spirit's 
paths so we may hear him more and more.